After thousands of years of silence, the path of cultivation has once again ushered in a golden age. Just as the demons and Taoist priests in Zhongzhou are competing with each other. Faced with so many demons, Zhou Feng only has a skill panel, which only gives passive skills. Overeating. Whenever you digest food, you are able to digest it faster and more perfectly, and at the same time, you will starve faster. Resilience. When breaking free from combat, slowly restore 1% of life. Grinding stone. For each battle experienced, all attributes are increased by one. Old yet firm. For every additional year, defense increases by one. Armor piercing spear. When attacking, it comes with a certain proportion of armor piercing. Taoist seed. The proficiency of practicing Taoism has increased by 1%. Thousands of passive skills come together, and cultivating immortality relies entirely on passivity. As long as I persevere until the end, I am the strongest. Keywords of the novel I rely solely on passive cultivation without pop-ups, I rely solely on passive cultivation. Download the complete TXT collection, and I rely solely on passive cultivation. Read the latest chapters. Chapter 1 Passive Overreading You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 1 Passive Overreading Southern Xinjiang Due to climate and geographical reasons, this area in southern Xinjiang is filled with jungle poisonous insects. Combined with conditions such as humidity, heat, and miasma, it leads to sparse human habitation. However, everything has two sides, even though the environment here is harsh and the population is sparse. However, some unique resources are relatively abundant, which has attracted many people to explore new territories in southern Xinjiang. Tomorrow is the day of cultivating poisonous insects. Zhou Feng was a bit stunned at this moment. You know, he only traveled to this world in three days. In these short three days, he has barely adapted to this world. At the same time, he also barely understood the world and was not clear about many things. What we can now understand is that this is a world where one can practice, and Zhou Feng is also within a sect of cultivation. And as a new disciple of this sect. If it's just that, it's actually okay. But during these days of investigation, he found himself in an evil sect. The sect he belongs to is called San Gu Sect, which sounds like a sect specialized in cultivating Gu. Zhou Feng Yuan seems to have been forcibly taken up the mountain in a nearby village. Forcibly arresting people to enter the workforce doesn't seem like a proper style at all. As for the so dot called Day of Cultivating Gu, in simple terms, tomorrow's disciples need to plant a Gu insect in their bodies. As long as you plant the Gu insect, it will be considered an official entry. Plant a Gu insect inside the body. Just hearing it, Zhou Feng's whole body seemed to be saying rejection. What consequences and impacts will occur once the Gu insect is implanted into the body? He has no control at all and is also unclear. Escape. It's unlikely. When Zhou Feng thought of his future days, the first thing in his mind was that he wanted to escape. But after thinking about it, I realized that it was simply not realistic. There are not only patrol teams around the mountain, but also various miasma protection measures. Even if an ordinary person managed to escape by chance, he wouldn't be able to survive. He has no confidence that he can survive in this dense forest. What can we do even if we escape? He was already completely oblivious to this world, so it's better for him to hang out in this three goo sect in this way, it is more promising to be an ordinary disciple of the three goo sect honestly. Moreover, he is not without cheats. At this moment, a skill panel appeared before his eyes. This is the skill panel of a game he played in his past life, and the name of that game is Passive Master. In short, all skills in this game are passive, even the enemy's skills are also passive. The battle is to see who is more passive and powerful, and two people directly attack each other. He is also unclear about what changes will occur in this skill panel as he travels back and forth here. Ha! Huh. Is this a progress bar? 
It's 100% full. Zhou Feng suddenly noticed that there was a progress bar under the skill panel. And this progress bar is already full. Extracting passive skills. After the progress bar is full, a lottery interface appears on the skills panel. Subsequently, he drew a passive skill called gluttony. Overeating, level 1. Whenever you digest food, you are able to digest it faster and more perfectly, and at the same time, you will starve faster. Zhou Feng immediately felt his stomach being transformed by a special warm current. Overeating. This passive skill. Zhou Feng frowned slightly. This skill is considered a post-game skill in the game. Because in the early stages, this passivity was too weak. It cannot immediately enhance combat power, and the early returns are not too high. The only advantage is being able to eat more and not afraid of poor digestion. Thinking about it, Zhou Feng's stomach began to growl. However, he only has two mantu in front of him. Because he has not planted poisonous insects, he is not a disciple of the three poisonous insects sect at present. So there's only so much food to eat. Just hold on a little longer. Zhou Feng took the hard mantu and comforted himself in his heart. Take it as it comes, and if it can't change this reality, then learn to bear it. Because he was extremely hungry, he ate the two mantu after a few mouthfuls. The mantu had just been swallowed. He didn't feel full at all, but he felt even more hungry. He can even feel the rapid flow of blood in his stomach. It seems that the two mantu just eaten have been digested directly. This the first passive skill obtained here is also too useless. Zhou Feng glanced outside and found that there were still patrolling people, instantly giving up his thoughts. There's no way, we can only resist like this for one night. So, Zhou Feng stayed hungry all night. At dawn, all the preparatory disciples of the Three Gu sect, like Zhou Feng, gathered together. And he also followed the trend and began to observe the surroundings. At the same time, he was observing whether there was anything to eat. From last night when he was hungry until now, he felt his stomach wall burning. I have gone from a very hungry stage to a slightly numb state now. To his surprise, these preparatory disciples were also divided into three, six, and nine classes. Wearing tattered clothes like Zhou Feng is the most common, basically ranking last. Or, in other words, they are directly excluded from the peripheral areas. Then there are some people who wear relatively clean clothes and have neat faces, standing in the second tier. Finally, there were only a few people standing at the front. It's like everyone is following some kind of hidden rule. These three types of people are distinct and have very clear boundaries. Something's wrong. The unease in Feng's heart has become increasingly severe this week. Because compared to the first few people, the group of people at the back seems to be making up for it. Most of the people next to him also looked confused. I can't even figure out what the current situation is. Just when he was feeling a bit uneasy, he saw a group of people in front beginning to talk. So Zhou Feng immediately took two steps forward and gently perked up his ears. A few ragged people next to him looked at Zhou Feng with a hint of surprise in their eyes. Then he immediately lowered his head and stood quietly in place, waiting. Perhaps I didn't expect those abandoned civilians to eavesdrop later on. So the previous few villagers were discussing loudly. Are you planning to choose the five poisons or bloodthirsty bloodline? I haven't made a decision yet. If possible, I would like to choose the sect leader's lineage. Just you. Do you still want to choose the sect leader's lineage? Don't dream about it. Dot. From the topic discussed by these people, Zhou Feng made a simple inference. Originally, these three Gu sects should have three factions. This is directly divided into three factions based on the three types of Gu insects, namely the five poison Gu, bloodthirst Gu, and ice spirit Gu. The Gu insect held by the sect leader Imai is the ice spirit Gu. Below is the elder faction composed of the five poisonous Gu and the bloodthirsty Gu. Today's cultivation of Gu, 
only bloodthirsty goo and people from the five poison goo faction are present. Simply put, there are only two options. The five poison goo and the bloodthirst goo. He can choose which type of goo insect to plant on himself. I see, upon learning this information, he nodded secretly. End of this chapter. Chapter 2. Bloodthirsty Goo. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 2 Bloodthirsty Goo 5 Poisonous Goo. It sounds like a goo insect trained with the five poisons. I don't know what the situation is with this bloodthirsty goo. Zhou Feng began to calculate in his heart which Gu Bu Zhong he had chosen to breed on him. If we speculate based on the name of the five poisons Gu, it must be a Gu insect trained from the five poisons. In his past life, he also had some exposure to information about Gu Bu Bu. And what kind of Gu insect is this bloodthirsty Gu? Because there is no information, he can only make blind guesses. And most importantly, when can the meal be served? After waiting for a while, the huge flow of people ahead gradually dissipated. The people in front have already completed the cultivation of goo, and are then taken to different places. Now it's finally his turn. Me, he was just about to say that he wanted to choose the five poison goo. But before he could speak, he was interrupted by someone. The foundation is barely good. I'll take this person. I saw a strong man about 1.9 meters tall, giving him a simple glance. With a glance of these simple eyes, Zhou Feng's words were swallowed back. I saw a tiny blood-red bug flying directly to Zhou Feng's wrist and gently biting it. The skin on the wrist was instantly bitten open. Then this bloodthirsty goo slowly moves along its blood vessels. That feeling is simply chilling. He saw with his own eyes a bulge on his arm, slowly crawling towards his heart. This kind of goo has already been completed. After planting goo, Zhou Fon walked directly to the side. Throughout the process, he didn't even have a chance to choose, so he was forcibly planted with a bloodthirsty goo. This he had no choice but to stand aside and wait. Wait. Why am I feeling a little dizzy? Zhou Feng only felt that his body was a bit powerless and almost fainted on the ground. Gu Gu, at the same time, his stomach began to growl. What's going on? If he had already reached the numbness stage before and was starving too much, then the current feeling is that his stomach is about to swallow him up on its own. The cells all over this body seem to be shouting, I need to eat. Almost enough people. Wei he glanced at the people in the queue behind him and found that each one was as thin as a stick, without even a good seedling. In addition, with recent resource constraints, we can only train so many people this year. So the bloodthirsty Gu clan left directly. And the person in charge of the five poison Gu clan also doesn't care, just a person who doesn't refuse. Planted the five poisons Gu on everyone behind. Wei He, also known as the strong man who planted Gu for Zhou Feng just now. Starting from today, it will be their teaching. At this moment, he was also taking them up the mountain. At this moment, Zhou Feng endured his hunger and began to observe the surroundings. He found that almost all the people who joined the bloodthirsty Gu lineage were tall and strong. Even Zhou Feng, who appears somewhat thin and weak, has a relatively thick skeleton. As for the people selected by the Five Poison Goo clan, they are almost all tall, short, fat, and thin, and there are no clear selection criteria. No. My hands are so cold. He touched his hand and found it very cold. At the same time, there is also some blackening in front of me, which seems to be a symptom of anemia. I shouldn't have anemia. What's going on? Zhou Feng immediately placed his suspicious target on the bloodthirsty goo he had just planted. Is this bloodthirsty goo sucking blood? A surprising conclusion has been drawn. This bloodthirsty goo is really like its name, directly sucking human blood. No wonder the bloodthirsty goo clan selects people who are relatively tall and strong, which weaker people simply cannot handle. That's right. This bloodthirsty goo is a type of goo insect that draws blood and grows. 
However, whenever the bloodthirsty goo draws a certain amount of blood gas, it will feed back more pure blood gas to the host. This pure blood gas can greatly nourish the body. However, this is only the beginning, and if this bloodthirsty goo only has benefits, there are no drawbacks. That won't even be planted on these new disciples like Zhou Feng. This bloodthirsty goo is like a vampire, absorbing relatively little blood at the beginning. It can still be within the acceptable range. However, as the bloodthirsty goo grows, its speed of absorbing blood gas will also become faster and faster. In this situation, you can only practice the technique of enhancing qi and blood to counter the speed of bloodthirsty goo's absorption. But no matter how you cultivate or supplement, one day you will be unable to resist the speed of bloodthirsty goo's absorption. Until finally being sucked dry by the bloodthirsty goo. After the host dies, the bloodthirsty goo, as a symbiotic goo, will also die instantly. This bloodthirsty goo after death is an excellent tonic, after special treatment. It has become a very special pill. At that time, whether it is used to refine other pills or taken directly, it is a good choice. Of course, this bloodthirsty pill is still the best feed for similar bloodthirsty goo. After consuming enough bloodthirsty pills, the bloodthirsty goo will become the king of bloodthirsty goo. As for the other five poisonous goo, they also use these new disciples as nourishment directly. However, Zhou Feng is not interested in all of this now. Because the bloodthirsty goo continuously draws his qi and blood from his heart. He is already starving crazy now, and without eating, he feels like he's going to faint from low blood sugar. There are other people in a similar situation as him who have just been planted with bloodthirsty poison. Each one had a pale face and a look of lethargy. Fortunately, Wei he had anticipated their situation early on. Or rather, there is a stage where new disciples are recruited every year. Come on. This is the blood tonifying pill. Each person will receive one. I saw Wei He pull out a gourd from somewhere and pour out dark red pills from inside. Zhou Feng Zhen, who received the blood tonifying pill, did not suspect any poison and simply swallowed it in one gulp. A blood tonifying pill flows down the stomach and a pure stream of qi and blood flows into the limbs and bones. The previous situation of stomach growling has slightly eased. However, Zhou Feng could still feel that the bloodthirsty goo located in the center of his heart was still draining his blood. Wait a moment, all of you go and collect your tokens and clothes. Tonight, most people should be able to endure the first bloodthirsty goo backfeeding. Don't be too surprised then, this is a normal phenomenon. Wei He glanced around and then began to explain some things. Starting from today, they are all considered beginner disciples of the Three Gu sect. Because he knew very little about the world, he listened very attentively. He summarized briefly what Wei He said. Simply put, after becoming an entry dot level disciple of the Three Gu sect, one can start practicing. After receiving the clothes and token, you can obtain a martial arts skill. The most important thing is free meals, and joining this bloodthirsty goo clan has one of the biggest benefits, which is having a canteen. You can eat with an open stomach in this cafeteria without any cost. Isn't this like raising a pig? Combined with the bloodthirsty goo's crazy absorption of blood, Zhou Feng's face looked slightly unsightly. He thought for a moment with his clever little brain. In an evil sect, can you eat and drink for free? There are such cheap things in the world. Isn't this just raising pigs? Wait until they are all fat before killing. End of this chapter. Chapter 3 Passively Overeating and Powering Up You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 3 Passively Overeating and Powering Up at Night, the surroundings became quiet. Except for the occasional chirping of insects, there was only the sound of patrol disciples passing by. At this point, Zhou Feng had already been arranged to enter a courtyard. That's right. It's a separate yard. They are all new disciples who have a solitary courtyard to live in. Even a pile of food was delivered. In addition to these, there is also a booklet. 
but the more these three goo sects adopt this attitude, the more uneasy he becomes. As an intelligent person, of course, one understands that there is no such thing as getting something for nothing. For example, will there be strangers giving you money for no reason in this world? Unless this person is a fool, or they can gain more benefits from you. Apart from these two possibilities, there are basically no other possibilities. The disciples who were patrolling outside at that time confirmed his idea. Because he had tentatively walked out of the yard before and was immediately discovered, and then directly driven back to the yard. Is it related to the previously mentioned backfeeding? Zhou Feng remembered that Wei Jiaoxi said that most of them would receive the feedback of the bloodthirsty goo tonight. Is there anything unexpected about this backfeeding process? So we will directly put these new disciples under separate custody. Faced with such strange things, he couldn't control his thoughts at all. Forget it. Forget it. Thinking so much is just adding trouble. There is no point in thinking this or that. Even if he guesses something in the end, what can he do? Without sufficient strength, he cannot change his current situation at all. Immediately, he picked up the meat placed in front of him. This is cooked meat sent by the sect, you can eat it by grabbing it directly. It is somewhat exaggerated that there are two baskets of meat. That's right. You didn't hear me wrong. These are two baskets directly. There is nothing else besides meat, and as for what to drink, there is only water from the nearby water tank. How do I feel like this is really feeding pigs? Zhou Feng bit down a large piece of meat while muttering in his heart. Due to the bloodthirsty goo, even if I had taken the blood tonifying pill before. But he was still very hungry, so he started to wolf down his food. He was still quite interested in dry food. Speaking of which, he seems to have a passive attitude towards overeating. Zhou Feng opened the skill panel and casually glanced at it, only to find that this passive was triggered. Digest Unknown Beast Meat, Health Plus One. Digest Unknown Beast Meat, Health Plus Two. Digest Unknown Beast Meat, Health Plus One. Dot. At this point, his stomach was like an incinerator. He was continuously consumed and digested with animal meat. Then it continuously produces blood and nourishes his whole body. He can clearly feel a large amount of warm current flowing throughout his body. How to say it? This feeling is like sitting in a small yard in winter, with warm sunlight shining on the whole body. The warm feeling made people unconsciously squint their eyes and relax their whole body. But soon, this comfortable feeling disappeared. The bloodthirsty goo, located at the heart, also began to take action after feeling such abundant blood gas. And the speed of absorbing blood gas is much faster than before. This is. Zhou Feng suddenly felt flustered in his heart. Will he be directly sucked dry if he sucks in this way? Instinctively, he began to continuously swallow the animal meat in front of him. He chewed a steady stream of animal meat before swallowing it. Now he is grateful that he has acquired the passive skill of gluttony. Because of this passivity, he transformed into a super stomach king. Capable of continuously digesting animal meat in a very short period of time, converting a large amount of blood gas to supply bloodthirsty goo. While the bloodthirsty goo continuously draws its own blood gas. He even had spare energy to open the booklet given to him by the sect. Coagulation test. Is this a method of controlling one's own blood gas? Zhou Feng only realized at this moment that this was a method used to combat the bloodthirsty goo. Because this booklet records a series of methods for dealing with bloodthirsty goo, and even provides an introduction to bloodthirsty goo. Bloodthirsty goo, this is a very special type of goo insect. Can parasitize in any organism. This type of goo insect must provide a large amount of blood gas for it to absorb. Otherwise, the bloodthirsty goo would start from the heart, bite by bite, urging the host to refine blood gas. However, the bloodthirsty goo does not bite too hard directly, it only serves as a punishment to urge the host. Everyone should be able to imagine that at this time, 
under the multiple pressures of angina pectoris and worries about life. As the host of the bloodthirsty goo, it will unleash such strong power. This bloodthirsty goo is simply a representative of capitalist squeezing workers. Sure enough. I knew it. After reading the introduction about bloodthirsty goo above, Zhou Feng couldn't help but feel a slight chill in his back. In addition, the booklet also includes some simple methods for controlling bloodthirsty goo. There is also the most crucial method of blood gas circulation, which is a special method of blood gas circulation that can accelerate digestion speed. At the same time, it can allow blood and qi to penetrate the whole body, unblock some blocked meridians, and facilitate subsequent cultivation. And this is also their only hope for these new disciples to survive. You should know that things like goo boo are not cheap, even the lowest level bloodthirsty goo. Cultivating it is also very troublesome and resource intensive. So new disciples have gone through the most difficult level. That's to control the bloodthirsty goo in the body and ensure that you won't be sucked dry. For those who have never received any knowledge in this area before, it is simply as difficult as heaven. Among the newly recruited disciples of Zhou Feng, 80% of them were abandoned civilians who were randomly taken up the mountain. The so dot called abandoned people are refugees wandering between the mountains and forests. In contrast to abandoned villagers, there are villagers living in fixed villages. Compared to the abandoned people, those villagers have a knowledge system of inheritance and have some knowledge of spiritual practice. So the main force of the new disciples are these villagers. The rest of the abandoned civilians can hardly endure this night. However, Zhou Feng is not very familiar with this. He began to transport his own blood gas in a specific way, following the coagulation test recorded in the booklet. At the beginning, he was still very struggling. But due to continuous eating, Zhou Feng's body transformed into a large amount of blood gas. The bloodthirsty goo in his body was temporarily full and began to assist him in transporting blood gas. How could a new disciple feed the bloodthirsty goo in front of him? If this news is known to other members of the bloodthirsty goo clan, it will definitely shock their jaws. Because this kind of thing has never happened before. There has never been a mortal without cultivation who can feed the greedy bloodthirsty goo. Even those villagers feed the bloodthirsty goo to half full and then use various means to lock in chi and blood. Force the bloodthirsty goo to quiet down. As for feeding the bloodthirsty goo and letting the bloodthirsty goo actively assist in transporting blood gas. I dare not even think about it. I see. This bloodthirsty goo actually has an auxiliary effect on cultivation. It is indeed a blessing and misfortune that depend on each other. Feeling that the bloodthirsty goo was helping him transport qi and blood, Zhou Feng looked like he had a sudden realization. In fact, the bloodthirsty goo helped him transport qi and blood entirely because he wanted more. The bloodthirsty goo discovered that the blood in Zhou Feng's body was simply excessive. In a short period of time, it is about to transform. And transformation requires more blood and gas. If you help Zhou Feng transport his health at this time, you can gain more health. Why not do this? Although bloodthirsty goo is a goo insect with low intelligence, it is not without wisdom. It just made the best choice according to instinct. End of this chapter. Chapter 4. Lies. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 4 Lies. With the help of coagulation and passive overeating. The speed at which Zhou Feng generates blood is extremely fast. So this night, there was no danger at all, and the bloodthirsty goo had truly begun its first transformation and feedback. As mentioned earlier, bloodthirsty goo only needs you to provide enough blood gas. As a host, one can also gain many benefits. Normally, among many new disciples. No one can provide enough blood to allow the bloodthirsty goo to undergo its own transformation. Usually, they barely feed the bloodthirsty goo and rely on the method of coagulation to resolve it. Having the bloodthirsty goo spit out a trace of pure blood, being able to complete this step is already considered a natural talent. 
And this is actually the true entry dot level trial of the Three Goo sect. Don't be fooled by the fact that the Three Goo sect seems to have no threshold for recruiting new disciples. In fact, the threshold is here, only those with the talent to control Goo insects can be taken to Goo Mountain, which is the headquarters of the Three Goo men. The current location of Zhou Feng and these people is only a small mountain far from Gu Mountain. The above is only a situation encountered by ordinary people. The situation Zhou Feng is facing now is completely different. Because the blood gas provided was too strong, the bloodthirsty Gu actually transformed directly. And all of this, he himself had no idea what the transformation of the bloodthirsty Gu meant. Try your best to spread blood and chi throughout the body, and open up blocked meridians. He was muttering while controlling the pure blood gas that the bloodthirsty goo had nurtured after transforming. Because the booklet records that after the bloodthirsty goo feeds back pure blood gas, it must first use this blood gas to open up the meridians. The more meridians are connected in this process, the easier it will be for future cultivation. Pain. 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 The process of unblocking the meridians was even more painful than he had imagined. That feeling is like the body is torn apart. But at this moment, he showed astonishing perseverance and forced himself to endure. Let that pure blood flow throughout the body. In this way, a large number of blocked meridians were opened up, and some impurities in his body were also expelled by the way. Wash essence and cut marrow. Isn't this washing essence and cutting marrow? If some old disciples of the Three Goo sect saw this scene, they would definitely envy, envy, and hate. Because this is one of the major benefits of Bloodthirsty Goo. Although the Bloodthirsty Goo has various drawbacks, even one accidentally gets sucked dry. But why can Bloodthirsty Goo get the favor of the Three Goo clan? The reason is that when Bloodthirsty Goo is fed to a certain extent, it can help you wash essence and slay marrow. And this essence washing and marrow cutting is continuous and continuous. That pure blood will gradually transform your body into an innate body. The starting point of cultivation is to transform oneself into an innate body. But it is very difficult to make the bloodthirsty goo willingly help you wash your essence and marrow. After all, all bloodthirsty goo are pisho, almost all of them can only enter and exit. I don't know how many disciples of the Three Goo sect from the Bloodthirsty Goo lineage waited until the Bloodthirsty Goo drained themselves. We haven't even waited for the Bloodthirsty Goo to feed back a large amount of blood and essence, to cleanse and slay itself. It's already quite good to have the Bloodthirsty Goo feed back a trace of pure blood for cultivation. Is this the legendary, washing essence and cutting marrow dot? Zhou Feng slowly opened his eyes and saw the thick layer of dirt on the surface of his body. That's amazing. This bloodthirsty goo is so powerful. He wiped away the dirt outside and couldn't help but sigh as he looked at the exposed smooth skin. This is simply a rebirth. The bloodthirsty goo is too awesome. Goo Goo, however, before he could let out a few sighs, his stomach made a gurgling sound again. After transformation, the bloodthirsty goo began to absorb a large amount of blood gas from his body. Zhou Feng seemed to hear the bloodthirsty goo urging him to quickly eat and turn into blood. I'll go. At that moment, he felt like he was about to be sucked dry. Because the suction generated by the bloodthirsty goo is far ahead of its time and extremely rough, it doesn't know any restraint at all. Zhou Feng, who was forced into helplessness, had no time to clean up the dirt on his body. You can only start eating crazily and rely on the passive act of overeating. Continuously breaking down food and converting it into blood gas for the bloodthirsty goo to absorb. However, the blood gas passively converted from binge eating surprisingly has a slight oversupply. This is because the bloodthirsty goo in his body before only did not enter the flow, and even did not enter the level. But after just undergoing transformation, the bloodthirsty goo in his body has already reached the grade level, and its required blood gas has directly doubled. Not to mention, the bloodthirsty goo has just undergone transformation and continues to replenish its previous losses with a large amount of blood gas. Zhou Feng, 
who had just looked a bit robust, is now losing weight at the speed of the naked eye. Smooth skin also becomes dry and cracked. From a distance, it looks like it's all skin and bones. Finally stopped. Fortunately, at this moment, the bloodthirsty goo in his body slowed down the speed of absorbing blood gas. He finally managed to get through this level. At this point, the bloodthirsty goo has stabilized, and after that, he only needs to constantly eat and replenish his blood to restore his previous state of washing essence and marrow. And just as Zhou Feng experienced these ups and downs, the rest of the yard is extremely tragic. 90% of newly recruited disciples are sucked into zombies. In despair, someone rushed out of the yard, but was instantly taken down by the patrollers. The sun slowly rises, and a new day arrives as usual. Zhou Feng, who had hardly slept all night, walked out of the yard after a simple wash. Ha! Huh. Not bad. I can actually survive. As soon as Zhou Feng walked out of the house, he met Wei He. I saw a hint of surprise on Wei He's face, which seemed somewhat unexpected. It seems that by accident, Zhou Feng was able to survive. Exactly. Follow me. Zhou Feng, who was completely unaware of the situation, consciously followed behind Wei He. Then he witnessed Wei He extract the dead bloodthirsty goo from one corpse after another with his own eyes. Along the way, surprisingly no one was able to survive. Even those villagers who dress cleanly are still sucked to death. From the fierce expression on his face, it seems that he suffered immense pain before death. Oh. Is there another one? It was not until the end that way he discovered the people who survived except for Zhou Feng. This is a girl, her dry long hair fluttering in the wind. That withered appearance appeared somewhat frightening in the sunlight. Not bad. Surprisingly, two people were able to survive. Congratulations. You have officially become disciples of the Three Goo sect. Wei He wore a slight smile on his face, seeming to be in a good mood. Formally becoming a disciple of the Three Goo sect. Listening to the familiar words, Zhou Feng suddenly realized that what Wei He had said before seemed to be false. What has officially become a disciple of the Three Goo sect, what has a cafeteria and can eat anything? These are probably all fake, after last night's test. Those who can survive are truly the entry-level disciples of the Three Goo sect, right? He recalled the dry corpses he had just seen, and couldn't help but feel a chill behind his back. End of this chapter Chapter 5 Passive Old Skin You are listening at NovelFull.audio The source has no content or has errors. Chapter 6 Rules of Goo Mountain you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 6 Rules of Goo Mountain After several days of hard work, Zhou Feng finally arrived at Goo Mountain. And during these few days, he also learned a lot of information that he didn't know before. Originally, the place he is currently located in is an area called Southern Xinjiang. There is no country or unified political power in this region. This area is basically composed of villages and tribes, along with various sections. I heard that you can walk straight east to an area called Dongtu. There are many countries and various immortal cultivation families there. The above information was summarized from the exchange between Zhou Feng and newly introduced disciples in the same period. It is worth mentioning that their new disciples from the same period have formed a group. The leader is a guy named Lin Ming. After his physical recovery, this person looks clear and beautiful, and his face is also considered handsome. There is also a noble young master's temperament, coupled with his background in a large tribe, he knows a lot of things. So naturally, he became the leader of this group. Of course, it's just a nominal leader, after all, no one wants to suddenly have a leader on their head. The current group reunion is only for coping with life after entering the workforce. For Zhou Feng Lai, he also knows nothing about the life of the sect, so let's stick together. Finally, at this moment, Yinling also broke free from her withered appearance. 
The restored silver bell was unexpectedly beautiful. Willow eyebrows, cherry lips, fair skin with a slight blush. When the blood was full, Silver Belt displayed the charm of a 16 or 17 year old girl. On weekdays, many people still pay their respects to the Silver Bell. Among this group of people, it was Zhou Feng who made efforts to downplay himself. Because when he saw that the progress bar on the skills panel was halfway through, he already had a clear direction for his future. Based on the previous situation, he speculated that this skill panel only needs the progress bar to be full. So he can directly acquire a passive skill. After all, this does not require any cost or specific conditions. The only thing needed is waiting. If that's really the case, then he just needs to live long enough. Think about it, having thousands of passive skills, even if these skills are not very powerful. But little by little, he will be able to surpass most people in an instant. Moreover, he has no intention of becoming the son of fate. In this world, he has no family, no friends, and nothing to miss. Now Zhou Feng's idea is very pure, that is to live. Just keep living according to your own ideas. This is his most genuine idea so far. So, he plans to practice the path of frugality, and everything is based on the premise of frugality. At this moment, Zhou Feng fully implemented the Go Dao. Wandering among the crowd, he officially entered Gu Mountain and completed various tasks. At the same time, Lin Ming and Yin Ling were assigned to a courtyard. Anyway, it's just one word, damn it. New disciples can receive ten blood pills every month. Remember to collect them all later. Every new disciple can also learn the technique of forging the physical realm once. Finally, one must complete sect tasks every day in order to cultivate. Dot. A senior brother took them to the seventh courtyard, explained some things, and then hurriedly left. Zhou Feng found that there seemed to be no lazy people among the sect. Everyone he saw seemed to be in a hurry, as if someone behind him was urging. Okay. Let's start dividing the rooms. As soon as the senior brother over there left, Lin Ming, as the leader of their group, took the lead in speaking out. The crowd also began to move one by one. This entire Gu Mountain is directly divided into three parts, namely the foot of the mountain, the waist of the mountain, and the top of the mountain. These new disciples live at the foot of the mountain, while the mountainside is where the elite disciples stay. The mountaintop is naturally the place where the elders and sect leaders reside. The layout at the foot of the mountain is also very interesting, directly divided into more than 10 courtyards, each courtyard can accommodate about 10 to 20 people. Then various special buildings are also built at the foot of the mountain. The Lingdong Hall, Chuangong Hall, and Sanjing Pavilion are all located at the foot of the mountain. The way these three Gu sects teach new disciples is also very wicked. In the first year of entering the sect, all new disciples can receive 10 blood pills per month. This kind of blood pill was also taken by Zhou Feng before. Its main function is to restore a large amount of blood and prevent you from being consumed by bloodthirsty Gu. This is the most important resource for these new disciples. Because only with sufficient blood pills can one ensure that they are not drained and have spare energy to cultivate. Then there is no introductory teacher. Want to practice? Learn it yourself. Or spend money to go to the Chuangong Hall and ask some senior brothers or elders to teach you. And most importantly, the sect is not worried about wasting resources. I won't be afraid of you fooling around. Because every newly introduced disciple has been planted with goo insects inside their body. Every day wasted means that one is closer to death. Under the threat of life, no one will slack off. Even new disciples who have joined the Five Poison Gu lineage are the same. Even more tragic than the Bloodthirsty Gu, because of the new disciples of the Five Poison Gu lineage. It is necessary to obtain detoxification pills at regular intervals to relieve the inherent toxicity of the Five Poison Gu. Otherwise, one can only be tortured alive and die. Raising Gu 
these two words can roughly summarize the style of cultivating disciples in the Three Goo sect. Directly provide an extremely harsh environment for everyone to struggle in. No matter how good your talent is, no matter how smart you are, as long as you can't survive, everything is just empty talk. The jungle rule of the jungle where the weak prey on the strong is fully demonstrated within the Three Goo Men. The rule of the jungle starts with receiving blood pills. Outside the Lingong Hall, there were already many people surrounding early on. When Zhou Feng and others appeared, countless wolf-like gazes were fixed on them. Although they felt a bit uncomfortable, they didn't think much and walked into the Lingong Hall one after another. Due to humility, everyone first asked Silver Bell to receive the blood pill. Wait. Hand over your blood pill. And just as Yin Ling had just taken the blood pill and walked to the entrance of the Lingong Hall, a strong man with a bare upper body stopped the silver bell. The naked upper body was covered in various scars, big and small, and a sense of oppression rushed towards him. Senior brother, here I am. A pitiful expression appeared on Yin Ling's face as she was about to speak. Just like a fist made of refined steel, it swung directly. Touch. The silver bell felt as if it had been hit by a heavy hammer, causing the whole body to fall backwards. Take it out. This beautiful face had no effect at all, and bare bile stepped on silver bell's body. And the people around were also looking at the show with a good expression, without any intention of helping. On the contrary, he kept looking at the entrance of the Lingong Hall to see if there was that unlucky ghost coming out. After all, this is one of the few relaxation times in a year. End of this chapter. Chapter 7. Not Submitted. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 7 Not Submitted. It smells so good. What flavor is this? Zhou Feng Gang had just entered the Lingong Hall when a fragrance immediately hit his face. This smell seems to be a mixture of many things that emit a scent. At this moment, the bloodthirsty goo in his body also moved slightly. But in just an instant, the bloodthirsty goo quieted down. It's like lying down straight, not daring to move. Feeling that the bloodthirsty goo seemed to be pretending to be dead, he also realized that there seemed to be experts here. Speaking of which, since he traveled to this world, he has never seen a practitioner take action. I wonder if practitioners in this world can move mountains and fill the sea, burn the sky and boil the sea. What is the practice of cultivation? Speaking of which, he is really at a loss about how to cultivate. What exactly constitutes cultivation, how to deal with this insect, and even how practitioners fight? He doesn't know everything about it. To be honest, he has a great need for this knowledge in his heart. He is eager to understand everything. But reason tells him that he must remain calm and not act recklessly. So even though Zhou Feng's heart was already tumultuous, on the surface he still had a dull expression. Even after a while, he would suspect himself of turning into a facial paralysis. Token. Ten blood pills. Next one. Upon arriving at the counter, Zhou Feng presented the sect token he had previously obtained. Ten blood pills in hand. The entire process was very brief, to the point of only two sentences. In this situation, even if he had the intention to continue observing the internal environment of the Lingdong Palace, he had to leave quickly. Because he felt two lines of gaze already fixed on him. These two gazes made his entire body report to the police, as if he had been targeted by a giant beast in the wilderness. Under such pressure, Zhou Feng Zhen dared not linger. But when he walked to the door, he heard Lin Ming's screams. Because Zhou Feng deliberately downplayed his own existence, it was only natural that he was the last one to receive the blood pill. He is also the last person to walk out of the Lingong Hall. Is this a robbery? Looking at the chaos in front of him, his eyes couldn't help but squint. I saw Lin Ming fall directly into the pool of blood, but still holding the blood pill in his hand. And there were also many people lying on the ground in the courtyard next to Zhou Feng. The old disciple robbed the new blood pill. 
this should be considered a regular program among the three Gu men. Due to the high dot level cultivation of Gu and the cultivation of disciples, the phenomenon of old disciples robbing new disciples of resources is a response. Even some senior executives have tacitly agreed to this approach. After all, this is also a quick way to select good seedlings. How to unleash potential when the environment is not difficult. However, there are rules to this blood pill. In order to prevent some special situations, such as some old disciples relying on their strength to snatch all the resources of new disciples. So some hidden rules have also emerged. That is, an old disciple can only steal up to 10 new disciples' blood pills. At the same time, it is necessary to have the new disciples hand it over to them. If the new disciple is unwilling, then you cannot forcibly snatch it. How about it? Does this sound like the senior management still has a hint of humanity? However, in reality, there are too many things that can be operated on here. For example, if Lin Ming is seriously injured and you don't pay, he will make you disabled. That's right. As long as there is no loss of life, disability, or anything else will not be managed by anyone. The other people in Zhou Feng's yard have all submitted half of their blood pills, and now only Lin Ming has not submitted them. The first person to go out, Yin Ling, also covered her swollen and red face and looked at Lin Ming, who had a stubborn expression, feeling anxious. Whether to pay or not. Bear Bile kept crushing Lin Ming's left finger with one foot, and his tone gradually became impatient. However, Lin Ming demonstrated his attitude through his actions. Grasp the blood pill you just received tightly with your right hand. This scene surprised Zhou Feng very much. I didn't expect Lin Ming to be so stubborn. After all, in his eyes, Lin Ming was just a noble young master with ulterior motives. Lin Ming, who comes from a large village, has a somewhat childish behavior in his daily life. A look that has not undergone social baptism. TSK Tisk why is this person so stubborn? And his luck is so bad, he even encountered Bear Bile. Yeah. It seems that Bear Bile is about to break through, and resources are urgently needed now, so they are all lowering themselves to grab new blood pills. The gains are not worth the losses. Some blood pills are just enough, it would be disastrous if one were to become disabled. Dot. Some old disciples nearby were discussing enthusiastically. Because there hasn't been such a stubborn newcomer in a long time. In the past, newcomers only needed to intimidate and would basically obediently submit. I didn't expect to encounter a tough situation this time, even if it's disabled, I won't pay. In fact, bare bile can completely steal someone else's blood pill without wasting time here. After all, the strength of bare bile is about to break through the forging realm, and no one among the new disciples can resist it. But bare bile is not pleasing to Lin Ming. Everyone is obediently submitting, even when Bear Gall first started. Why do you make this prick and want to be different? That's it for you. Someone has come out. At this moment, some people also discovered Zhou Foam walking out of the Lingong Hall. The bear bile seemed to have heard something and slowly turned its head. Hand over half of your blood pill. The calm tone of bear bile contains extreme impatience. He has already been wasted a lot of time by Lin Ming and cannot continue to waste it. You should know that the bloodthirsty goo in his heart is devouring his blood every moment. In another month, three years will be over. He can no longer afford it. Among the three goo sect, all entry.level disciples only have three years to practice. In these three years, you must break through the physical training realm and reach the qi inducing realm to become an inner disciple. Otherwise, it can only be recycled. The sect will not waste its resources on them. For those who have not been able to break through the physical fitness realm for three years, the sect will directly carry out waste recycling. That's why bare bile is so irritable. At this moment, the question of making such a decision is on Zhou Feng's face. Do you want to pay or not? Xiong Dan believed that Zhou Feng, looking at the tragic situation before him, should be obedient and witty. 
After all, it's already quite rare for a prick like Lin Ming to appear. Will such an idiot's prick appear with a second one? This is simply impossible. Pay. Don't pay. Only fools pay. The question of whether to submit or not only hovered in Zhou Feng's mind for half a second. Then he already had a conclusion. Let him hand over half of his blood pills. That's impossible. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 Bloodthirsty State You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Bloodthirsty State Hand in half of the blood pill to avoid a conflict. At the same time, it can be more low.key and no one will pay attention to such a newly introduced disciple. This sounds very in line with Zhou Feng's previous plan. That is to act low.key and use Godao throughout the process. However, after a simple reflection, Zhou Feng realized that this was actually a very foolish decision. Firstly, all new disciples are facing tremendous pressure. According to the performance of the bloodthirsty Gu, even if he has the passive ability of overeating, he can gain additional health. But if blood pills are used as a resource for cultivation, the days of future cultivation will definitely be very difficult. Next is the issue of personal cognition. Showing weakness to the enemy is not omnipotent in Zhou Feng's concept. For ordinary people, showing weakness only makes them think you are being bullied. What comes to mind later will think of you, this soft persimmon. Occasionally pinch it. Not to mention within the evil sects of the Three Gu sect. Enduring humiliation and bearing heavy burdens. To endure. That will only cause you to lose more resources, even if you have good talent and not enough resources, it is fake. The perspective of two generations has made him more rational, and his perspective on problems is also more insightful. Besides, there is also the most important reason to support him in doing so. Is that why the progress bar on the skills panel was just full? That's right. You didn't hear me wrong this time either. The progress bar on the skills panel is full again. Although he had seen it before and was almost there, why was the progress bar full when he just came out of the Lingong Hall? As expected, Zhou Feng gained another passive skill. And it is precisely because of this passive skill that he has the confidence not to hand in half of his health pills. Self-Healing Constitution, Level 1 Able to recover slowly and autonomously from injuries, an appropriate medication can accelerate this self-healing process. This is a passive recovery class. There are no triggering conditions, as long as you are injured, you can continue to trigger. And the speed of self.healing will also be affected by medication. A simple explanation is that with drug assistance, the self.healing speed will be faster. Perhaps it's not impressive just in terms of description. But if we cooperate with the passive old skin he obtained before. The situation seems to be different. The function of Lao Pai is to increase defense with each injury recovery, while self.healing constitution is to accelerate the recovery of injuries. This unintentionally formed a small coordination. Therefore, based on the previous trade.offs and the passive nature of self.healing constitution. Directly made Zhou Feng make up his mind. I saw Zhou Feng as if he hadn't heard the words of Xiong Dan, and his face still had that wooden expression. In fact, he was ready and his gaze was focused on bare bile. Kid. Are you deaf? Xiong Dan looked at his expression and his heart suddenly became inexplicable. Are all the new disciples so arrogant now? How dare both of them ignore him? Faced with Xiong Dan's questioning, Zhou Feng didn't answer either. He just silently walked forward, looking as if he couldn't hear him at all. Amazing. This person shouldn't really be deaf, right? It's over. The bare bile is going to explode. This is a tough move. Look. Dot. Many people around saw this scene and expressed surprise. The new disciples of this generation are also too stubborn. It seems that I still haven't realized the cruelty within the sect. I saw the huge body of bare bile displaying extremely fast speed. 
the seemingly clumsy body rushed towards Zhou Feng in the blink of an eye. In an instant, there was a bit of a bear king coming out of the mountain, and a wave of evil energy rushed towards Zhou Feng. As for Zhou Feng's reaction, it was also extremely swift. He immediately hugged his head and crouched down slightly. Puff. Zhou Fengru was hit hard, and a mouthful of blood sprayed out directly. This simple punch was so heavy that he felt like he had been hit head dot on by a truck. But soon, the bloodthirsty goo in his body seemed to sense the danger of the host. A pure stream of blood gushed out. The intense pain was greatly reduced in one go. Along with Zhou Feng's eyes turning blood red, his rationality was also eroded in this instant. The people around him were unaware that the bloodthirsty goo in his body had already transformed. Although not reaching the level of a first-level goo bu, he possesses the skill of bloodthirsty. The main way of cultivation among the three goo clans is actually to feed goo insects. And every time the goo insect transforms, it will feed back many benefits to the host. Among them, bloodthirsty is the most basic skill of bloodthirsty goo. Can induce the host to enter a bloodthirsty state, after entering a bloodthirsty state. Reason will be instantly weakened by half, and physical strength will increase in a straight line. In game terms, it is a frenzy skill, and after the bloodthirsty state ends, it will also cause a lot of damage to the body. At the same time, bloodthirsty goo will consume a large amount of blood gas, which is directly equivalent to a lone fight. Red Eyes This is a bloodthirsty state. How could it be? Is this a beginner disciple? Bloodthirsty goo started to transform so quickly. That's not right. How could the bloodthirsty goo be willing to spit out so much blood gas? Dot. Looking at Zhou Feng's state, many elderly people who were originally watching good movies almost had their eyes falling out. Because this is clearly a bloodthirsty state, it requires at least one transformation of the bloodthirsty goo to master the skill. And it also requires a good relationship with the bloodthirsty goo to be able to unleash it. You should know that many disciples who have been beginners for a long time, even though bloodthirsty goo has undergone several transformations, are still unable to unleash its bloodthirsty state. The reason is that the bloodthirsty goo is unwilling. Only those with a natural affinity for insects and insects can easily exhibit a bloodthirsty state. Bloodthirsty state. Genius. Bear Bile's eyes instantly turned crimson. A black shadow passed by in the body, resembling a giant bear, reappeared in front of Zhou Feng. Zhou Feng, who was in a bloodthirsty state, now completely handed over the battle to instinct. Move your right hand up and directly block this punch. Meanwhile, a move emerged in his mind. Iron Mountain damn it. I saw Zhou Feng twist his body and suddenly hit his right shoulder against Xiong Dun's chest. Click and wipe. This is the sound of bones breaking. Zhou Feng felt like he had collided with the cast iron city wall, and his right shoulder bone slightly cracked. The gap between realms is still too great. Bear Bile is a solid 9.fold forging body, while Zhou Feng has just started practicing. This relies entirely on an instinctive blow, although Bear Bile has not reacted at all. But he didn't suffer much harm, just felt a tightness in his chest. Then, with another punch, Zhou Feng was sent flying. However, Zhou Feng did not feel much pain this time, and as he was in a bloodthirsty state, he seemed to feel much less pain. Zhou Feng's slightly red eyes stared tightly at the Bear Bile. At the same time, one hand took out the blood pill they had just received and took two or three in one gulp. The originally dry chi and blood once again filled up. End of this chapter. Chapter 9. Malicious Intention. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 9 Malicious Intention Lin Ming watched as Xiong Dan and Zhou Feng confronted each other directly, and a force made him struggle to get up. Remembering that he had no intention of resisting just now, Lin Ming felt as if his face was burning with fire. And the other new disciples seemed to have regained their composure upon seeing this scene, their eyes fixed tightly on the front. 
As for those old disciples who were watching the excitement or preparing to grab a wave of blood pills, their faces were already filled with astonishment. I never expected that things would develop to this extent. A newly introduced disciple is actually fighting against Xiongdan. And they can also fight for a few rounds, who would believe that? Do you know who Bear Bile is? This is the person who is about to become an inner disciple with Qi. Don't be fooled by the name Bear Bile. But Bear Bile was also a famous genius in the beginning, born with strong blood and divine power, and a thicker skeleton than ordinary people. Within less than a year of entering the Three Gu sect, I forged my body nine times. I heard that he was directly targeted by an elder, and as long as he successfully induced Qi, he would be accepted as a personal disciple. It is precisely because of such prestige that the other old disciples dare not take action to steal the blood pill. At least wait until the bare bile finishes grabbing before taking action. Speaking of this, some people may wonder. Surprisingly, Xiong Dang was taken notice of by an elder. How could he be so short of resources, even snatching the blood pills of new disciples? This is actually related to the cultivation of disciples thinking by the senior management of the Three Gu sect. Many elders believe that having talent is indeed an advantage, but not entirely. Genius falls, villains rise through dark means. This is not something new within the Three Gu sect, so having talent does not necessarily mean everything. So these elders will at most pay attention to you, but in reality, they will not provide any help. If you can successfully induce qi, then everything is easy to say, proving that you have the value of cultivation. But if you unfortunately die, then die. Because this proves that you are just a fake genius, not a real genius. A true genius must be proficient in various means besides cultivation talent. Otherwise, in the Three Gu sect, one would sooner or later be played to death. Seeking Death Bear Bile rushed up again. The fist style carries two whistling sounds, and just by listening to the sound of breaking through the air, one can feel the weight of this fist. One left and one right, directly hitting Zhou Feng's body swaying left and right. Under the huge power gap, he directly became a sandbag of Bear Bile. However, even so, Zhou Feng remained fully committed to defense. Hold your head with both arms, and try to avoid hitting the area with your fist as much as possible. At the same time, holding his breath, ready to counterattack at any time. Once again, Zhou Feng was beaten and flown out. But only three seconds later, he slowly got up again. But this time it was a bit tragic, with blood directly infecting the whole body. Zhou Feng still had a dull expression and didn't say a word. Pick up two blood pills with one hand and stuff them into your mouth. At this point, he no longer considered any gains or losses, and now he only wanted to punch the guy in front of him. Even though he didn't say a word, the people around felt the ferocity. A large amount of blood pills provide a lot of blood gas. Under the stimulation of a large amount of blood gas, the bloodthirsty goo absorbed a large amount of blood gas in reality, and then fed back a pure blood gas to support Zhou Feng. To be honest, if it weren't for the bloodthirsty goo constantly feeding back blood, Zhou Feng Zhen couldn't have persisted for so long. The most crucial thing is that his newly acquired passive skill and self-healing physique have slowly begun to recover from injuries. Although the speed is very slow, it is slowly recovering bit by bit. Kid. You're looking for death. Bear Bile roared out this sentence in anger again. If there is no comparison, the appearance of Bear Bile is indeed very frightening. But looking at Zhou Feng standing across from Xiong Dan with an expressionless face. In this situation, the Bear Bile showed a hint of incompetence and rage. A hint of killing intent rose up. At this moment, the bear bile has already moved its killing heart. A newly introduced kid dares to do this. It's impossible to get down without killing him. But as soon as his murderous heart rose, a cold chill rose from behind him. It is not allowed for an old disciple to kill a newcomer in front of everyone's eyes. 
especially in front of the entrance of the Lingong Hall. Although the Three Gu sect has very cruel rules, some basic principles still need to be followed. If you secretly carry out it, the people above will not care. But it doesn't work in front of everyone. The slight chill instantly awakened the bear's gallbladder, and the crimson color in its eyes immediately subsided. Xiong Dun understands that someone is warning him. You have the guts. I hope you can live for three days. After waking up, Xiong Dan grinned at Zhou Fong with a blatant threat in his words. After speaking, he turned around and left directly. Continuing to stay here now is just adding to the laughter. However, when Xiong Dan left, he still took all the blood pills of Lin Ming, Yin Ling, and others. Previously, Lin Ming and others were able to leave half, but now there is none left. Faced with a smiling bare bile, everyone dared not resist. The slight resistance that Lin Ming had just risen dissipated instantly after feeling the suffocating killing intent of bare bile. No one dares to resist directly like Zhou Feng. From a certain perspective, it seems that Zhou Feng implicated them. If that's not the case, they can still leave half of the blood pill. If you want to blame him, blame him. I want to take a look at a yard where everyone doesn't have blood pills, only one seriously injured person has blood pills. What will happen? The bare bile, who had already walked away, suddenly came with this sentence. The meaning of stirring up discord between words is very strong. Although this instigation is very rough, it is very useful. In the current seventh courtyard, almost everyone's blood pills have been stolen by bare bile, except for the severely injured Zhou Feng who still has blood pills. Although Zhou Feng doesn't have many blood pills now, only five or six. But at least there is still survival, and the others have none. If there is no blood pill supply in the early stage, it will almost waste most of the time restoring blood gas. Especially when practicing martial arts and techniques for the first time, one must take a blood pill at the end, so that the progress of cultivation can be faster. As soon as Lin Ming and others spoke, their faces changed slightly. The gaze towards Zhou Feng also had an inexplicable meaning. To be honest, they are not that familiar with Zhou Feng either. Or rather, the people of the entire seventh courtyard only knew each other for a few short days. Which is more important than a few days of friendship, cultivation, and one's own name. It seems that even a fingertip can provide the answer. This bare bile looks like a foolish muscular rascal, but I didn't expect it to even use tricks. Human nature is simply untested. Not to mention in the three goo men, as long as you stay a few more days, some concepts will be directly reversed. Zhou Feng instantly felt a wave of malice enveloping him. End of this chapter Chapter 10 Selection of Cultivation Techniques you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 10 Selection of Cultivation Techniques After Xiongdan left, Zhou Feng himself also calmed down. The bloodthirsty goo in the body began to consume a large amount of blood gas. And there was no intention of discussing with him at all, it seemed like he wanted to replenish the blood and energy he had just lost. The rapid absorption made Zhou Feng's face instantly turn pale. Without hesitation, he took out a blood pill and ate it directly. The vigorous vitality contained in the blood pill made him recover. And he doesn't want to stay here anymore. His injury is very serious now, and he must find a place to recover well. After being instigated by Bear Bile just now, Zhou Feng dared not directly return to the seventh courtyard. After all, no one can guarantee his safety in Courtyard 7. As for the destination, he also thought of it, which is the Sutra Pavilion. All new disciples have one chance to enter the Sutra Pavilion. The Sutra Pavilion should be the safest place he can currently find. Even though his whole body was in excruciating pain, he still held on to his body. Try to look okay, then slowly walk towards the direction of the Sutra Pavilion. And there are many people around who are now eager to move, and Zhou Feng seems to be a good target to start with. Although there aren't many blood pills, they are cheap to pick for nothing. If you don't pick for nothing, don't pick for nothing. 
However, many people hesitated when they saw Zhou Feng's expressionless face. This is a real ruthless person. How could he offend such a ruthless person just for a few blood pills? If this person were to be forced into a hurry and eat all the blood pills, wouldn't it be more than worth the loss? After weighing one and two, those who were eager to move also quieted down. As for Lin Ming and others, they looked at Zhou Feng's departure direction with complex eyes. Pooh! After finally getting rid of everyone's sight, Zhou Feng couldn't help but spit out a mouthful of blood. Now it's really a big show. To be honest, just now he was completely influenced by the bloodthirsty goo in his mind. In that moment, he felt like his brain had been eaten. The only thing left in my heart is to tear apart everything in front of me. This is definitely a huge side effect. Although in that special state, his physical strength has improved several levels. But this is not what he wants, losing his sanity is the most terrifying thing. Eliminating the bloodthirsty goo has become his primary goal. Previously, due to the various benefits of the bloodthirsty goo's backfeeding, Zhou Feng had a slight idea to keep this bloodthirsty goo. See if you can completely tame it by relying on your own abilities. Now, he no longer holds any hope. This is the biggest calamity, and if there is a chance, it must be solved first. Fortunately, I have a self-healing physique, otherwise it would be really troublesome. Zhou Feng couldn't help but feel a little relieved. Fortunately, I gained the passivity of self-healing physique, and this passivity is really awesome. In just such a short amount of time, he could clearly feel that the injury had eased slightly. At least it's not as uncomfortable as before. At this speed, he only needs to stay for an afternoon and his injury will almost recover. Perhaps this is also related to the bloodthirsty goo. The pure blood gas emitted by the bloodthirsty goo also has a significant effect on the recovery of injuries. Combined with his self-healing physique, his injury recovery speed will definitely exceed expectations. At the same time, once the injury recovers, it can trigger the passive action of Lao Pai. Is it clear whether the effect of increasing defense by one is significant? While thinking this way, he also came to the Sutra Pavilion. Surprisingly, this Sutra Pavilion is just a two-dot story small building. From the outside, it even looks a bit shabby. It doesn't seem like a place where a sect specifically stores martial art secrets. The person guarding the Sutra Pavilion is actually a young man, who looks not much older than him. Token. Still so impatient, still unwilling to say another word. Zhou Feng also remained silent and silently took out his token. Go in. Remember to come out of it, you can't go in again. The guard disciple explained and then closed his eyes. So hasty. And really there's only one guardian disciple. Why is something so wrong? Where exactly is wrong? Zhou Feng frowned slightly and slowly walked into this so dot called scripture pavilion. By the way. I know something's wrong there. Why are there so few elders in the sect? He recalled various details since entering the Three Goo sect. Suddenly, it was discovered that almost everyone in the sect seemed very young. So where have the elders of the sect gone? There are only a few disciples on duty in the Linggong Hall. These new disciples who joined the sect were only brought in by the Sodot called Inner Disciples. Where have those elders of the sect gone? He still overthought it, after all, it's normal for him at this level not to have access to senior management. But it doesn't make sense either. There must be some people in a sect with low qualifications. These people are likely to find a position within the sect, after all, it is impossible for everyone to be a high dot level official. Why aren't these people there? After a moment of wild thought, he walked to the bookshelf. Pick up a practice book casually. Diamond Power Fist Fist Techniques What's going on here Zhou Feng's eyebrows furrowed even tighter. Black Tiger Fist Is it boxing again? Chinya Palm Is this palm technique? Is this the so-dot called cultivation method? 
This pile of things is no different from the clotting he obtained before. All of them are methods to enhance blood gas and control blood gas. No wonder it's so hasty. There's only one guardian, and this scripture pavilion doesn't have any good techniques at all. Zhou Feng felt a slight unwillingness in his heart. After flipping through several books in a row, I found that some of the techniques were even incomplete. The more corners there are, the more severe the damage becomes. Some have even been bitten by insects. Only the techniques on the first bookshelf are relatively complete. He had no choice but to choose the diamond power fist technique and silently memorized it while sitting on the ground. Coincidentally, he can take advantage of this time to slowly recover from his injury. I stayed here until the evening. During this period, many new disciples also came to the Sutra Pavilion, including Lin Ming and others. Zhou Feng could clearly feel that there were several people who had previously traveled with him. There was something wrong with his gaze. Lin Ming and Yin Ling, the two closest acquaintances, are not much different from before. But a sense of alienation is inevitable. In their view, if it weren't for Zhou Feng, they should still be able to leave half of the blood pill. Almost there. It's time to go back. After staying for so long, Zhou Feng felt that his injury had almost healed. So I plan to leave and go back to courtyard number 7. Even if someone wants to take action against him now, he still has confidence to counterattack. Please find the recommended ticket, it will be updated to 3 shifts per day. End of this chapter